Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today we'll be doing a chrono test high power with the Tipman TCR. And this is what I call the most high power and balance between the high power uh, gas usage, CO2 usage, which means you, with one 12 gram CO2, you can use the CO2 to shoot all the rounds in this magazine. And then you eject the mag and you can take this in and ready for a backup. So that's what I call practical. Um, you can shoot a little bit harder, but it's not really worth it because first of all, these FPS go up and down very much and it's not good. Also, the other thing is the uh, mag cannot be finished. So that's not good either. Okay, so today we have the laser going on and this is how you uh, d take the CO2 out. So right now I adjusted the CO2 uh, piercing thing a little bit and now you can see the hole it's very big so it's a nice hole right there so it's what critical that actually uh, changed the result today for my day two or day one I cannot get a nice uh, FPS out of this gun that is stable because the hole punching on the CO2 is not big enough so we got a fresh new Crossman CO2 right here and let's do it now the first thing I want to mention is how you actually um, put the CO2 in is take this out okay butt in first and there you go okay now try to unsafe the gun and then play around with the trigger if your trigger doesn't move or almost barely moving it's good if the trigger is still very wobbly you take the allen key the small one and get in here and then tighten the screw up while you keep on fiddling around with the trigger and uh, you're, you'll find the trigger gets stiffer and stiffer until to the point you can barely move it that's the point that you will get the best piercing out of this, uh, this thing okay so let's test the uh, chronograph I mean the FPS so we're using 6.2 grams bricker balls okay bricker balls these are not paintball they're bricker balls glass round with rubber coating and they're for um, target shooting and such so shooting at objects not people okay if you shoot at people you're gonna kill them so it's very dangerous extremely dangerous okay do not shoot at human being okay so let's load it up I'm gonna top it up and uh, just a reminder if you see 316 uh, that is the mark for 28 jewels and if you see about uh, 300 ish is the mark of 26 jewels okay so anything over 300 you're good so 26 jewels and up that is the power of the Tiberius T 8.1 9.1 and such so basically with my testing before this video it was quite good actually right here is my sheet it stayed mostly around the 28 to even 30 jewels mark okay so let's uh, read the number slowly and I'll put this on my hip right here so that uh, I can aim with the laser toward that trap and uh, of course I will try to show you the number like this okay so let's go laser is on gun is off safe mm. kind of stiff with the safety okay first of all first pull of the trigger will pierce the CO2 we will press and hold for a little whoa holy crap okay this is not good it's too tight and that's why that's happening okay anyway glad we're pointing to a safe direction and uh, avoid the accident 312 330 that is 33 jewels 309 Three, uh, 256 basically I think we boost out all the uh, power already see 220 that's not good okay, obviously this is some problem here because the CO2 is freezing up so fast uh, and it's using up the CO2 too fast this time uh, the problem is the CO2 is too tight inside so it gets sort of like a pre puncture uh, which is not what you want the thing about this um, TCR is that it's very sensitive to the length of the CO2 when the length is just right in balance You are going to get a pretty nice uh, Pretty nice uh, balance uh, with this thing, but right now somehow this is too 
too tight, so we need to sort of unscrew this thing. Okay, it's too tight right now. So we'll unscrew it a bit. Okay, you don't want the uh, CO2 to have any like be too too stiff inside. Okay, make sure you got a tiny little play with the trigger. The other setting is really way too crazy tight. Okay, I think this is good. See, we have some sort of little wobbly vibe here going on. Okay, just good. So sort your CO2, put them in, and try this. If you try this and it's not really working well, then you should uh, rethink about like sorting another group of CO2. With the Tiberius D point one, you don't have this problem. Okay, now CO2 is pierced. You can hear it. Okay, first shot. 318. Okay, this is doing like normal. Okay, 318 first shot. Whoa, 332. A big blast of energy. 332. This is over 400 for sure. Okay, let me uh, check the magazine. Oh, no, no balls inside. Crap. Okay, no problem. Let's uh, shove in some more balls. Might as well give it some time for the CO2 to rest as well. So we saw the 330 something, which is 33 joules and on, or even close to 34 joules, which is rarely seen. With CO2, this is amazing. Okay, so we did three shots. Maybe this is our fourth shot. Okay, let's go. Three thirty-five again, so that is a solid thirty-three jewels mark. Three twenty-one, uh, about thirty-one to thirty-two jewels. Three eleven, you're still at the third, uh, twenty-eight jewels mark, twenty-seven-ish jewels. Okay, now we're at the two seventy-four. This is about the 24 joules. It's dropping fast because the CO2 is cooling down. Okay. 245. Okay, this is weak, 198, uh, 96. Of course, that's it. Okay, so can we finish the CO2? I mean the whole mag? Uh, nope. There are three rounds inside that is not finished. Um, I am getting a little bit higher FPS than I get before the video making and um, that could be one of the reason yeah it's cooling down too fast on the gun right here okay it's cooling down way too fast and uh, CO2 clear thing is fine but if it's cooling down too fast you want to detune it a little bit okay so right now what we're going to do is check the Allen key right here and going to detune it half of half a step okay detune that half a step not too much just a little bit we're gonna shove in another co2 and we're gonna test it again so basically that's what you do for the high power thing you uh, turn it to the point that it's just the right balance okay not not more the better sometimes okay with this thing you want to try to see if you can really easily close the door Sometimes not, sometimes yes. Okay, this this one might be too uh too crazy stuff. Holy shit, it's getting a pre-puncture. See, you hear that? It's getting a pre-puncture already. So it's no good. You can might as well put it in and shoot everything. It's too stiff, it's getting a pre-puncture. You see? So one thing why I, I don't suggest the TCR for like for people who you want to use it for emergency because you need to really sort the um, the CO2 out for the length issue. Sometimes it's just too long, sometimes it's just too short. And today, you know, I ran into uh, two CO2 that is way too, um, too short and I need to turn the thing. Now it's too long again, so really big hassle. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Okay, now finally I can close it and my trigger is fine. Okay. 
So, okay, this one is fine. You can still move a little bit. That's fine. Okay, let's uh, beef up the balls. Okay, put the balls in. So I just detune it a tiny bit. Let's see if we can shoot the full mag and with good numbers, okay? We can get up to 33 joules or 34 joules, but you see the CO2 frees up too fast and it's not practical for us. So we want something that can allow us to empty the magazine uh, while not freezing up the CO2 too fast. So about 25, 26 joules mark average is very nice for this gun. It's just like a T8.1. Okay, let's try. Okay guys, uh, we'll press the trigger. No leaks. First shot. 302, very nice, not too high, not too low. 302, 26 joules. Whoa, 302 again. Th uh, 312, it's very stable right now, okay? Very nice and stable. 322 is jumping up. That is about 30 joules. 303. 263. You can feel right here, you can feel it's very cold. So I think if you give it some time to cool, uh, like warm up, it's going to do better. But we're not going to do that, of course. 250. 207. 175. Done. Okay, did we finish the whole mag? I don't think so. Let me see. Nope. We have about one or two rounds left, so that's about 10 shots. And of course, you can still fire if you give it some time, shoot slower. So we still need to detune this thing a little bit more. Uh, not sure what we have to do with it, but you see how many CO2 we have done already for today. That's a lot of shots. Okay guys, so that's it for the Tipman TCR today. Uh, testing out the high power, as you can see today in this video. You can get up to the 34, uh, 35 joules, whatever mark. But you will want to detune it to the point that one CO2 can empty the whole 12 round magazine or even t uh, 13 rounds uh, in order for the gun to be practical. Right now, I still think it's shooting way too hot. Uh, so let's detune it and maybe in the future when we find the sweet spot we'll tell you guys before this video was made i was doing my chrono test as well and my first round is actually quite good but i wasn't satisfied this is the um first first uh, attempt so it's all about the 270 280 290 kind of range and the other one is all about the 267 and then all these jumping around like uh 309 321 289 282 298 and then 307 it's jumping up and down too much so i think tuning the gun down to make it shoot about 280 to 290 may be the sweet spot so in our next video we'll tune it down to the sweet spot and try it out okay thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like bye